Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about wingspan versus surface area and also high aspect foils and low aspect foils. Generally surface area is what people consider how to like measure the amount of lift. Like obviously the bigger the surface area the more lift the wing is going to produce. The smaller the surface area the less wing that is going to produce. However a high aspect foil has a large wingspan because the wingspan is the measurement the width of the foil um, and the equivalent low aspect surface area foil might have less lift that's a tongue twister but get your head yeah. around it <laughs> so like a thousand low aspect foil will have less lift than a thousand high aspect foil but it'll turn better but it'll turn better yeah and then a high aspect thousand cm would have more glide and it'd be easier to pump but it'd be a bit harder to turn yeah and the, the the plane analogy is a really good way of thinking about it like if you think about a fighter jet they're super low aspect wings Very and like they triangular yeah. looking wings and they can turn they're the most agile planes and they're fast yeah um, and then a glider you know is produces loads of lift but you don't see gliders turning much yeah and lo loads of lift going at low speeds as well yeah and there's not one foil that does it all so there's always compromise between surface area wingspan low aspect high aspect um, and generally the trend at the moment is kind of moving towards a sort of mid to high aspect right. which you kind of getting the range and the extra lift from the, the longer wingspan, higher aspect foil, but yet... The best of both worlds. Exactly, whereas if you go a little bit lower aspect, then it becomes nicer to turn. 